In this session, we are going to discuss about the research process that is how to plan the research and how to conduct the research. This is a schematic representation of the research. In this diagram, if you will see, we are having following processes. Maybe these processes are different depending upon your requirement and depending upon your, your field in which field you are conducting the research. More or less, uh, these processes are near about same. So let's start about discussing these processes. This is about the knowing research method. The second thing is about the preliminary literature review. This thing is about the developed research idea, literature review research hypothesis and design, data collection process, data analysis process, interpretation and conclusion process and this is the last process which is about the dissemination of the research which is called as publication. In this figure if you will see we, it is divided into two sections up to this point that is up to the research hypothesis and design this is called as research planning and the remaining portion is called as research conduct process. So it is divided into two sections one is planning and second is research conduction. Uh, when you are going to conduct the research actually planning is very important if you will see from the rest of the processes the planning is uh, divided into near about 50 percent of the section the first one it is about knowing research method that is we should know what kind of the research you are going to conduct you want to conduct uh, basic research or you want to conduct applied research you want to conduct qualitative research you want to conduct quantitative research you want to conduct descriptive explanatory exploratory research which kind of the research you want to conduct so uh, uh, you can see about this one what type of the research are available so based upon that one you can plan your research in this process the first thing is about the preliminary literature review preliminary literature review meaning is that in which subject you want to conduct the research that subject you should know from this preliminary research you can go for the your broad area from this preliminary literature review we will get the broad area of the research that is in which subject i want to conduct the research suppose that as a computer science student i want to conduct the research on wireless network so in that case my broad area will become as a wireless network inside the wireless network what are the current issues or hot topic on this area okay or what are the challenges people are facing on this area you should need to note down all the challenges Okay, the challenges you need to note down. Suppose that maybe the challenges is related to the routing, maybe challenges is related to the security. So you need to select at one topic and that will become your focused area or your core area in which you will conduct the research. So suppose that from these challenges we have selected at one challenge or one issue in which we are having the interest. You should uh, select the topic in which you are having the interest and topic having the scope because if you have selected one outdated topic or a very mature topic in which already most of the research is conducted so it will be difficult for you to complete the research because uh, whenever you will go for the verification and validation you will find that the research better than you is already available so it will not be acceptable so remember that when you are starting as a novice select the hot topics or the current issues on the technology so from this one suppose that we are saying that security so one issue which is related to the wireless network is about the security of the wireless network so it will become our focused area the broad area in which subject you want to conduct the research next from the focused area suppose that what are the current topics and current issues and challenges we will select one area it will become our focused area the output for the preliminary research is actually identify the research problem so from here what we identified we identified our focused area so this focused area we will conduct our future research on this area so it will become our problem that is i want to conduct the research on this area note down that this point we are selecting the topic your supervisor will tell you about the topic or the person who is having the expertization on the subject he will tell you about the topic otherwise if you are selecting from your side sometime you need to iterate the process so i will tell uh, when you need to iterate for the selection of the topic the next thing is that we need to go for the practical judgment practical judgment is very important because when you are conducting the research you should know that is the topic you are selecting it is possible to you complete the research on that topic and the tools and the feasibility of the tools are available maybe it is hardware tool maybe it is a software tool or it is a simulation tool that is selection of the tools from here from the preliminary literature review what we identified we identified our focused area that is in which topic i want to conduct the research or in which area i want to conduct the research 
The second thing is that if I, we want to conduct the research on this area, the tools are available to conduct the experiment. Tools should be available. The next thing is from when you will study about this thing, identify the topic from the preliminary literature, literature review. You can have the research idea that is okay. what the people did already in this area from the preliminary literature review. You can have the idea in your mind that is uh, what kind of contribution I can, I can do in this topic. After that, we are having the core or rigorous literature review that is uh, on the a specific topic that is what the topic we have decided at this place this topic maybe you can change uh, uh, change meaning is that you cannot change the topic but exactly you can reframe the topic so uh, in the face of the uh, literature review what we need to do the best thing is that just go for the last five year articles you can go beyond this year but uh, remember that when we are conducting the research as a research scholar we need to complete our research okay if you are uh, taking the topic uh, which is very old so it will be difficult for us to conduct the research on that topic because most of the research is already conducted which are the current issues related to this one so for that um, that thing what you need to do you need to go to the google scholar or the different association and agencies and digital libraries to download the last five years article on your topic in which topic you have selected download the article but remember that when you are downloading the article don't download the article from the unreported journal or predated predatory kind of the journal go only for the good journals quality journals so suppose that you have download from these last five year articles after that what you need to do you you need to you need to maintain one list inside that list what you need to do what is the contribution of this author and the second thing what the research methodology he has taken and also what is his limitation remember that at this time we are focusing upon limitation what the contribution the author did and what the research methodology he has taken and what is his limitation so you need to identify the limitation next in this way from all articles you need to write down the limitation that is point wise that is this author did this contribution the limitation for this author maybe some limitations are common so maybe five or ten limitations are there so these limitation what is this this is called as research gap what the research is not conducted on your area from this research gap we need to select one limitation or two limitation or three limitation depending upon your time frame so based upon that one take the help of your advisor or your supervisor tell uh, he will help you to uh, selecting the issues because some issues if you are selecting all the issues suppose that you have generated uh, 10 issues or 10 limitations from the previous research so it is not possible to us to conduct the research on on all issues so we need to select one or two issue so this research gap will become your main title this is the problem you want to solve this problem you will give the solution for this problem so it will become your final title okay and you need to conduct the research on this title uh, this title will become your research problem that is you are formulating your research problem you identified exactly what you want to do and how to do because from here what we have collected we have collected about the contribution and research methodology so research methodology you you can follow from here or you can develop your own methodology so from here we identified our research problem next thing is that from the literature review from your research idea and from your literature review we can get one theoretical framework that is this is a theoretical framework that is you need to divide your research in the logical step that is i will conduct the research in this way after this step i will do this step we need to write our theoretical framework theoretical framework is not compulsory but it will help you to complete the research and it will help you to identify the facts and conclusion the next process is about your research hypothesis and design first thing is that we should know what is hypothesis we know that when we are proving the mathematical theorem we are assuming some hypothesis that is this is true at the starting we are assuming then uh, from mathematical formula or some other means we are trying to prove that hypothesis maybe it is possible that hypothesis is correct at the conclusion time or maybe it is possible hypothesis is false the next thing is that based upon uh, this one we need to go for the data collection what kind of the research you are conducting maybe you need to go for the field visit for the collecting the data you are the first person you want to collect the data so the data may be primary so what kind of the data you are going to use in your research you need to decide that is you want to use primary data and you need to collect the data by yourself sometimes you need to conduct the research primary data which is collected by the some other researcher so that data is called as secondary data so depending upon your requirement you need to collect the data sometimes 
you can get the data over the internet or some organization they are uh, producing the data and they are giving for the sake of the society if data is not available so in that case you need to generate mathematical data or and you need to generate the simulation data also that is the result generated from the simulation you can use that data also data collection depending upon your field in which field you want to conduct the research we need to collect the data and what are the means and tools are available for collecting the data you should next thing is that we need to go for the data analysis after collection of the data first thing is that we need to get the data next thing is that we need to analyze the data before analyzing the data what we need to do we need to remove the noise and redundancy we need to remove the redundancy noisy data meaning is that sometime the data you have collected it is not necessary in your research because you need to categorize your data in terms of important data secondary data or useless data important data it, it is important to you that is it will affect your research but sometime it is secondary data so you can also use that data but sometime data is useless so in that case you need to remove that data the next thing is that some data is redundant because when you are collecting the data you are collecting the data as much as possible you need to go for the data analysis from the data analysis you will get the outcomes that is your result next thing is that uh, after the outcome uh, there is one thing we need to check for the verification and validation also verification and validation meaning is that suppose that uh, you are conducting this research 10 inputs of the data next you are conducting this research for the 20 inputs of the data maybe 30 inputs of the data so it is verification that is self verification of your research validation meaning is that you need to compare your, your result with other researcher that is the previous researcher you need to compare because until and unless your outcomes and your result is not better than the previous researcher it will not be acceptable because the research better research is already available so why we need to accept that research so during the verification we need to go for the two things one is verification and second thing is validation the next phase in the research is called as interpretation and conclusion interpretation is one phase and conclusion is one phase interpretation meaning is that you need to identify the dimensions and the applicability of your data suppose that you conducted a very good research but uh, what happens you did not relate your data with the applications or different dimensions so what will happen the future researcher will not cite your research where your research data is applicable that is all the possible utilization of your data the next thing is about the conclusion what we have did here what the facts you have generated you need to conclude in so uh, that is what the new facts from your investigation we have generated okay you can also give the future recommendation because future recommendation is more important it will give the time uh, direction for the new researcher that is what is the limitation of your research so the new researcher to conduct the research on that direction the last phase about the publication phase publication is very important because this is the research dissemination process you are distributing your research to the other users or for the other research so for this one what we need to do we can publish our research in the form of the report or in the form of the thesis you need to defend your research in front of the experts or in the second uh, phase is about the conferences for the similar thematic area uh, if it is a thematic area related to your research you can submit your from these conferences you will get a broader platform in comparison to the report and your research will be noticed by the some experts they will give the comment to you the constructive comment to you the next thing is about the publication processes from the journals so uh, go for the good journals the quality journals don't go for the predatory journals so journals will give you the platform where you can publish your research 